Last week, the developer of Superworld did a little AMA on Steam and answered some questions about the game. I went through them all and pulled out some of the most important info. If there's one thing that I want you to get out of this video, it's that Superworld should be getting a Steam page in mid-May, so you can wishlist it to your heart's content in just a few weeks. The game won't be releasing anytime soon, but I am excited to see maybe some new screenshots once that goes up. For those of you who aren't familiar, Superworld is an upcoming first-person metroidvania where you play as a small toy figure in a world that's larger than life. It's a continuation of the Superland series, which I highly recommend if you like puzzles, secrets, and overall just having a good time. Now let's get to those questions. Development on Superworld is chugging along slowly but surely, and the game's creator, David Munich, thinks it'll be much better than the previous game. The main focus for the team at this point is building a solid foundation for this and future games instead of YOLO coding as he calls it, which ended up being very messy and made it a lot harder to tweak things. Someone asked about a ballpark release date guess and David answered that with late 2024 to mid 2025. But that's really just a guess because game dev is a pretty time consuming process with many unexpected twists and turns popping up along the way. In comparison to Superland, the new game's world will be around twice as big, and it seems like the story and history from the past games will play a role in this one, but it definitely won't be necessary to play those first before hopping into Superworld. The powers you had in the old games might make a reappearance, but you should also expect to get a whole new set of abilities. Here's an interesting one. There will be some form of character customization, although to what extent we don't know, but David seemed pretty excited about it. No multiplayer, which makes sense. And there will be some elephants, but no cats. One of the only weak points I would say from Superland was the combat. It felt unnecessary at times and distracted from what I really wanted to be doing, which was just exploring. This time around, combat will have more of a puzzle focus, most likely meaning you'll have to be more strategic with your attacks and there will hopefully be a little bit more creativity to it. Even having separate combat and non-combat zones could make for a more enjoyable experience. To get a better idea where the series came from, David had listed all of these games as inspirations for the original Superland. He took pieces from all of them and tried to fit them into this tiny world. A lot of features that didn't make the cut though will end up in Superworld in one form or another. So those were all the big ideas I took away from the AMA, but there are also a few other Superworld related pieces of news that I'd like to cover. In March, we got a little peek into some interesting game assets. A bunch of fake Game Boy games. This one is my favorite. Going back a bit further, on October 24th last year, there was a post on Steam about Super Games' possible plans for the future, even beyond Superworld. It seems like the core of this game is being built around its predecessor's pros and cons, meaning the developers are absolutely taking feedback and reviews into consideration to make the best game they can. I mentioned earlier that Superworld won't have multiplayer, but the code will, quote, also be kinda multiplayer ready. Eventually, the devs would like to create a Tupraland co-op game since it's something that a ton of players have expressed their interest in. And by multiplayer code, they mean that the code is now structured in a way that multiple players would technically not destroy the whole game because everything is referenced and modularized properly. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but it sounds like a good thing. This new game would potentially give each player a different set of abilities so they'd have to work together to solve puzzles and find secrets, while still being a challenging and rewarding experience. And surprise, Super Games actually has another game in the works right now. It's a special little tower defense game called Supra Tower that they started last year and plan to finish after Super World is complete. David also mentioned wanting to work on a single player RTS game combined with a Metroidvania. He has a name for this one too, Supra Command. I love the ambition and creativity of this Superverse world. It's already so colorful and imaginative, and adding some more genres into the mix sounds like a pretty fun time. The possibilities really seem endless. Thanks for sticking with me and learning about the future of Superworld and beyond. If you haven't yet played their first game, Superland, there is a free demo on Steam that I highly recommend you try out.
And if you're into games that have you play as a tiny character in a huge world, infinitesimals might be for you. 